The subdivision surface modifier could be the one modifier you use the most in your 3D modeling. Very similar to the manual subdivide tool, this modifier subdivides the geometry of your mesh to add greater density and detail to it. If I now apply the subdivision surface modifier to my cube here, you will see that it becomes more round. This is because we are using the Catmull Clark mode. If I switch over to simple mode, it will retain the shape of the mesh. So if I just up the subdivision count here and then apply it, you will see that our mesh now has more density. So we know that the simple mode retains the shape of the mesh and adds more density, but what is the Catmull Clark mode? The Campbell Clark mode is a subdivision algorithm that is used to create smooth surfaces. So it is essentially smoothing out the corners of our mesh. I will put a link in the description of this video if you want to read up on this algorithm a bit more. If I keep subdividing this mesh, you'll see that our cube eventually becomes a sphere. Now this modifier gives us a bit of flexibility. You can set the number of subdivisions that appear in the 3D viewport but you can also set the number of subdivisions that appear in renders. So if I put one in the levels viewport and two in the render, and then if I render this object, you can see that the render is showing off more density because we have told it to do that in the modifier. So you can see the difference in detail. Optimal display just changes the look of the mesh when it is in wireframe mode by not rendering the new subdivided edges. This is good for performance purposes if your computer is running a bit slow. Under the Advanced tab, we have the Quality field, which just makes the vertices position more precise when subdividing. This is more easily visible in a higher subdivision level, like 4 for example. If I change the quality around, you can see how some of the vertice position is becoming smoothed. The UV smoothing option here just chooses how you want the UV islands to be changed when subdividing. You can select smooth to smoothen out the UV islands, or you can select sharp, which prevents the modifier making any changes to the UV islands. I hope this video has helped you. If you want to see more content like this, please make sure you subscribe to stay tuned with future videos, and I will see you in the next video.